हेलो वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर विद न्यू वीडियो ऑफ बायोलॉजी ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड ट्वेल्थ टॉपिक नेम इज रिप्रोडक्शन इन लोअर एंड हायर प्लांट्स टुडे आर टॉपिक इज ऑन द रिप्रोडक्शन सो वी विल स्टार्ट विद द डेफिनेशन ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन व्हाट इज रिप्रोडक्शन रिप्रोडक्शन इज नथिंग बट प्रोडक्शन ऑफ द न्यू स्पीसीज फ्रॉम द पैरेंट्स or we can say the production of the young one from the parents so here reproduction definition when we can say then the parents they develop the progeny progeny can be also called as offspring or the young ones we can also call them as young ones so they are developed from the same kind as we know that the single cell start dividing into a many cells from a single to many here reproduction is a process which is necessary for continuation of life this word is very very important continuation of life you know that life is possible only when the new generation comes like you have taken a birth from your parents and then the next generation will come and then again the next generation will come and so on so without this life is not possible if a single generation stops the life gets end so for continuation of life species should be produced and the method for multiplication is nothing but reproduction in living organism so reproduction you have understood the concept of reproduction reproduction is nothing but simply we can say production of offspring from the parents or it is it is a method of multiplication for continuation of life again types of reproduction what is the types of reproduction before we move towards the types of reproduction you might have heard about the concept of clones what is clones clones are nothing but preparation of the same kind of the species like the parents like the same replica we can prepare from the same parents so this is a clone which is been again been uh, one of the good example of asexual reproduction so we will see it later on let us see the types of reproduction what is the types of reproduction there are two different kind of the reproduction one is asexual reproduction and second is sexual reproduction what do you mean by asexual reproduction the first question may arise even in board many a times they ask a short note on asexual reproduction asexual reproduction is a reproduction by the involvement of a single parent now you will ask me what is single parent see here generally we see that the parents plays a very very important role parents they plays a very very important role so if there is a involvement only a single parent that is one parent without the second partner we may say that this is one of the example of asexual but when the two parents they come together and the new kind of species is developed that will come under sexual reproduction so asexual reproduction is the reproduction where generally we see only a single partner and it is generally used for preparation of the clones clones means the same kind of the species as like parents so asexual reproductions are again having many a types like we can see the first step is fragmentation it is the first example that is fragmentation so what is what do you mean by fragmentation fragment means reverse fragment means smaller pieces fragments means smaller pieces like spirogyra is there spirogyra's mother cell start developing a chain in birds the mother cell start developing the single one then again the next one then again the next one it develops a chain and it keeps on multiplying so this is one of the good example that is fragmentation the example of fragmentation is spirogyra spirogyra is nothing but a algae spirogyra is a algae next example is budding what do you mean by bud bud is nothing but a outgrowth what is outgrowth let us see when we see a plants you might have seen a small bulgy part this is nothing but a bud in yeast we see the small outgrowth which starts multiplying the bud starts multiplying by formation of outgrowth this outgrowth after a few time detaches from the parent detaches means what detaches means separates from the parents and then it develops as a new individual and then again it keeps on multiplying so once the bird is released from the main parent it starts keeping multiplying 
and the development into a new plant or we can say development into a new organism so yeast is one of the good example yeast is a kind of the example which we generally see as an enzyme for the preparation of bread for the preparation of alcohols yeast is useful for fermentation process this we will see later on in our descriptive part